What's up everybody, it's Roman Gaming here. So uh, this is gonna be some type of new thing, I guess. Maybe it's gonna be a series, who knows. Um, yeah, this is pretty much an experiment. I'm just gonna try this first episode and then see if people like it or not. But um, basically what I wanna do is I wanted to maybe do something a little bit more chill, more laid back, I guess, where uh, basically, you know, I'm just playing a game uh, which is something I don't usually do in the channel, right? I basically talk about games on the channel and I use my, you know, Twitch live streams for actually, um, you know, playing games at the same time as well. But, uh, but yeah, no, basically what this would be is me playing games, talking a bit with you all about some of the, I guess, topics or news or whatever that um, I missed out on or didn't get around to uh, talking about for the last week or so. Um, so I think that could be pretty cool. I'm starting things off with The Last of Us multiplayer right now, uh, which I feel is kind of just a safe pick because I know that people are going to like it. Uh, as you can see, week one, day two, because I just tried playing a match already and uh, we had some terrible issues there and people left the game immediately and stuff, so I just rage quit myself. But uh, as you can see, I'm actually very early on in the week because the last time that I played The Last of Us was actually when I got my um, my platinum trophy for the game a couple months ago, I think. So... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, let's see, which which map are we actually going to pick? Water Tower or High School? I'm going to go with Water Tower for sure. Oh, I always like, actually, the... feels it's, it's really weird, maybe, that I say this, right? But a lot of people usually like a certain map because it has, like, a nice layout to them or whatever. I usually like maps more if they're sunny and bright over dark and uh, gloomy, I guess, if that's a word, uh, 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 maps, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go for some cheaper armor. But yeah, basically, like I said, it's gonna be more chill, laid back. When I'm playing the game, I'll focus on the game. Uh, I'm playing Survivors right now, so if I die and stuff, and, you know, I'm kind of like, um, I'm not playing anymore, then I'll talk about some topics, I guess. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, if I play terribly, I play terribly. If I do well, then uh, that's, that's a good thing, I guess. But uh, it could go either way. Uh, I'm not necessarily only gonna do Last of Us multiplayer or whatever. Uh, if we end up doing this more, then I'll just, you know, play various games, I guess. So maybe, you know, something like, yeah, Uncharted 4 multiplayer or Call of Duty or uh, Rainbow Six Siege, which I recently got pretty addicted to. I'm really into that game right now. I, I, I kind of, I, I started loving it, which is weird because I finally decided to, like, really try it out, I guess. Uh, even though people have been playing that for, like, three years already. I don't even know. Um, or maybe two. I think it came out at the end of 2015. So, yeah, like two years, couple months extra. Uh, so let me really quickly focus. I don't know why this guy did not like loot anything. Because you would think that's the first thing that people do, but never mind. Uh, also, I need to like... That's always my thing. If I do not pay attention to the game, right? I start doing... Oh, oh sh shit. Here we go. See? At least, I, at least I did that well. There we go. Starting off with a kill. Nice. I thought I was screwed there for a second, but he missed. Oh shit. Here we go again. What the fuck? I down him though. I down him. Let's go. Heal up. Oh, he got he got eliminated already. Nice. Hey, starting off well. That's a good sign. I can die twice now and still uh, have a nice decent work. KD. <laughs> uh, if if one is a decent KD at least, but yeah, that's all I'm saying. Uh, so this was a good first round, I guess. But anyway, let's let's start and let's actually talk about some stuff, I guess, right? Um, first thing, I, I talked about this a bit with the people on Twitch, uh, but on YouTube you might not know about that, I think. I think I didn't mention it. Uh, I actually started my own company, which is pretty, like, you know... Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's really not that big of a deal, I would say, actually, but just... Saying that and like uh, thinking about it, it does sound cool, you know, it's, it sounds cooler than it actually is, I feel. But basically, of course, I decided to um, to uh, continue this whole YouTube experiment and stuff. It's been going well so far, but not to the point yet where I'm like, oh yeah, completely, you know, where I would be financially independent and whatever if I happen to like move out um, from my family's place and stuff. But like, it's going well so far and I, I, really, li I really like it, I really enjoy it, of course. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and uh, step it up even more and, uh, and yeah, keep going with it. But the thing is, oh shit, there's a guy here. Damn it. Wow, I like how he didn't realize that I was behind him. Nice. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. I should not have run there again. Why did I keep doing that? I swear to God. 
Oh, is my number one mistake in The Last of Us is because the game is so slow? Oh shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Well... I could have still escaped that, actually, but whatever. We won the round. Um... It's my thing with The Last of Us, man. It's, it's a slow-paced multiplayer, and because of that, I always end up, like, sprinting and stuff without thinking about, oh shit, I'm actually gonna show up on the radar. So really st stupid that I do that. But about the whole starting my own company thing, like, once again, it's not... It's really not that big of a deal. Basically, you fill in the form. Uh, you know, I called them up about it. I'm like, yeah, if I'm gonna do this, do I need to necessarily get signed up? And they were like, yeah, we would definitely recommend you do that. Uh, you don't necessarily have to, but it's probably the better thing to do. Um, but yeah, you know, I filled in a form. I had to, like, travel to, like, a certain big city. Um, where I had, like, a little... Where I had an appointment with them okay. to get signed up. So I sat down with a woman and she pretty much just went over the... You know, the, like, form that I had filled out for 15 minutes... Basically, I'm just saying, yep, yep, I filled that in, yep, that's correct, that's still correct. She's just trying to, like, it's it's literally just going over what you filled in and, and if, that, if that's actually correct or not, which clearly it was, because otherwise I wouldn't have filled it in. Uh, and I definitely took my time with that, so to make sure that it was all 100% correct. Wow, that second shot. But that's basically all that it was, you know, and then I got officially signed up. And once again, it just sounds cool to say, like, oh, yeah, I got my own company. I'm self-employed now, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, that that's that's cool. But at the same time, nothing has changed. I'm still, you know, I still got to just try and step up my game. Uh, these guys are getting wrecked, by the way. I didn't have to do anything this round, sadly. But that's one thing that happened, and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty... Um, satisfied about that or it's just once again it's a cool thing to be able to say team is in the lead we need one more round to win so let's do this i guess i'll uh, sprint a bit more to the front and see if i can actually create some more action <clears throat> i don't know how many matches i'm gonna play in this video i got five topics written down that i want to talk about pretty much like four actually only um so i'm gonna try and get to all of them this was just one of them so I guess that uh, two or three matches would be enough for that. Is there... Yep. There's definitely somebody here. Oh shit, there's... What the... Okay, welp. I tried. Okay, craft the Molotov. Can I buy more arm... No, I can't. Last enemy left. Jesus Christ. My team is doing such a, like, holy shit. They are, like, wrecking them. One guy rage quit, I see, even. Well, nice. So that was the first match. I didn't really have to do much in the, in the, in the later rounds. Uh, but yeah, that's how things can go, I guess. Uh, let's see. What did I want to talk about as well? So this is something that I missed out on that I didn't talk about right. Um... God, I really don't even want to talk about it. It's like, uh, it's the whole Logan Paul situation. Uh, I didn't end up making a video about it. I could have, you know, I could have made a video about it if I wanted to, I guess. But uh, I didn't do so. Uh, obviously, I think you all caught the news, right? I think everybody pretty much knew what happened. Logan Paul, this this popular YouTuber, he traveled to Japan. He went to the the famous or infamous, I guess, suicide forest. Which is just like a forest that is known for people actually committing suicide in there. Um, which is, of course, you know, a very, like, sad thing, I guess. But, um, yeah, that's just what it is. I'd actually heard about this already before because uh, some some channel that I knew actually went there as well. Um, let's see. University Financial Plaza. I'm going to quickly mute these, this person. University Financial I kind of like Financial Plaza more, though. I don't know why, I never knew why people liked University. That map is actually kind of whatever to me, but I guess we're going to do it anyway. Um, so what he did, Logan Paul, is he went there with a couple of his friends, I guess, or whatever. I don't know who those people were. Uh, they saw a dead body or whatever actually in the forest. And what th does he do? He grabs his camera and films the films the freaking body and like just uploads it to YouTube. Uh, obviously a terrible thing, something you shouldn't do at all. Uh, yeah, like, I can't stress out enough that, you know, that's like, that's, that's, um, just absolutely stupid. Like, especially with the type of, 
you know, audience that he has. No, I mean, it really doesn't matter, though, but, like, especially when you think simply about the fact that there's kids watching him, many kids, like, seven, eight, nine, ten-year-olds, you know, it's, it's just, it's just crazy that he actually does that. He doesn't need it at all. His videos literally get, like, seven, eight, nine million views every time from what I Why saw, so that's, you know, he's insanely popular. Uh, so I don't know why he would do that, you know, you're like, it's just crazy. But uh, at the same time, you know, you see a lot of, you saw a lot of YouTubers and people on Twitter and celebrities and popular people make like a giant deal about it, right? And they're all acting like they're personally, you know, hurt by it and everything. And I think that's, honestly, if I can be really honest about that, I think that's a bit too much as well. I think a lot of people, you know, whenever a controversial thing like this happens, Everybody jumps on the bandwagon, right? And, you know, I understand that because I would do it myself too. You know, I've, I've made videos about these kinds of controversial topics, you know, as well. Um, okay, got it. Let's really quickly check. Okay, still four people alive, so I gotta... I gotta watch out. My team is staying back as well, so I'm probably gonna get wrecked by a couple people by doing this, but whatever. Let's see. I kind of feel like there's gonna be somebody around the corner here. Nope. Is there going to be someone here, though? Damn. Where are these people at? Are they all there? I don't know where the hell they are. I'll talk, I'll talk about this thing once I die, I guess, because I'm really... I'm, oh, there, there's one, there's one. Wait. Okay. He saw me, see? <laughs> okay, got it. Was that the same? No. Oh shit. Wait, here we go. Oh, I did down him. Why did I get instant? Hold on. I hey, thank up. you for reviving me. At least this guy is playing the objective. Look at that. Lucky, uh Look out, You never know with people in The Last of Us. Sometimes they revive you, sometimes they just leave you in the dust. Okay, this guy. Damn. That sucks. I'm gonna have to flank him. I'm definitely gonna have to flank him. Oh shit, did he see me? Shit. I think he probably did. I'm very worried right now. Okay, there's a math kit. I don't know if he's here somewhere. I guess not. I'm gonna go and try flank him. Let me really quickly get some loot, though. Can I craft something? Okay, that's always good. Molotov. I hate that you cannot... Did I just talk about that? Or was that in the previous recording that failed? <laughs> like, I hate that, that I can't run. I think I, I might have just talked about that already. And I just got screwed over by a bomb. So I'm, I'm screwed anyway. They're not gonna be able to revive me, I guess. I don't see it happening. Holy shit, the time is running out. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's over. We have one guy left. No, so about this whole Logan Paul situation, right? Like... <sighs> what he did was terrible. And, and rightfully so that he received a lot of flack for it, right? At the same time, I think that, once again, when these controversial type of things happen... Every single YouTuber and popular person wants to jump on the bandwagon and say how much, you know, like, uh, how bad it is. A lot of it is simply for personal gain. It's because you know that a video like that is going to get views, and you know that a tweet like that is going to get retweeted. But I, I sometimes, you know, I, well, sometimes, I feel with many of these people, they act like they're, like, personally offended by the situation, or very hurt over it, or that it, like, affected them greatly. And that's the moment where I say, nah, that's going a bit too far, honestly. I think that a lot of these people really, you know, they'll tweet about it or they'll make a video about it. And the moment they, they are done doing that, they move on. They don't think about it for a second anymore, really. Um, and once again, I'm not saying that that means that the situation isn't bad or something. But once again, like, like, I don't think really that most of the people that say that personally hurt over it actually are. A lot of that is just like, oh, yeah, they know that people are going to... They know that their fans are going to look at them in a, in a better way by saying that. Um, 
Plus, they know that that's going to result into, into once again, into more retweets or more likes or whatever. If you say how disgusted you are by it. Yeah, I saw this guy was here, so I knew I was screwed. Okay, I'm playing terribly in this match so far. I got one, one down, two deaths. Well, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, yeah, that's all really that I'm saying once again. It's like, what he did was terrible. Okay, got it. And it's fine that, you know, he should be receiving flag for it, obviously, and stuff. Um, I can't believe he did it. Also, I really can't stand YouTubers like Logan Paul. Because I looked up his channel, you know, I'd never heard of him before, actually. Uh, but yeah, I looked up his channel, and the guy is just, like, fake as hell. I can't stand fake YouTubers. I only really like YouTubers that are actually being real with themselves. And that just behave normally. And, uh, you know, like, uh, if, you know, the type of the types of channels that I enjoy... First of all, anyway, I like the, you know, just the gaming discussion type channels. Um, Somebody cover me while I but even if it wouldn't be gaming, like, once again, it would be people that are more real, you know, that don't, like, over-exaggerate all the time. Uh, and sadly, those are there a lot. Those do exist a lot. And uh, actually, most of the channels, I would say, to me, are pretty fake most of the time, honestly. Uh, I, so that's why I, don't, I wouldn't watch channels like that. Uh, Logan Paul is one of them. You know, I really do not in the slightest care about his channel or, like, uh, whatever. But still, once again, I think that that's sometimes the... The, the controversy, you know, is, is, a bit, is a bit fake as well. It's like just creating an outrage because you know that... Uh, well, like a massive outrage. Just because you know that you're going to get more attention that way. It's all personal gain at the end of the day. All these YouTubers talk about these things just for the views. Um, and that's, you know, that's fine. It's understandable. But don't... I, wouldn't, I would say don't act like you're, once again, personally affected by something if you're not. Uh, I'm not saying some some YouTubers might actually be. They might have gone through, like, you know, really bad times themselves and that they actually, you know, like, uh, feel very offended by him showing a dead body and stuff on on, uh, on stream. I'm sure there's some. I think most of them, honestly, are just lying about that or, uh, you know, once again, making it seem worse than it actually is for themselves. Just because they know that people are going to react better to that. And that's what I don't really like about it. But yeah, that's pretty much... That's, that's, that's honestly the way I feel about the whole thing. Um, this is a very, like, this is a very slow and, uh, it's only 1-0 right now, Jesus. I guess we're gonna just uh, leave it at these two games, because we're already going for, like, a long time, I think. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna try and actually, I guess, I'm gonna have to, like, really try and get some kills this round, because I'm doing terrible so far. Nah, so that's really my thoughts on the whole Logan Paul situation. Once again, I didn't make a video about it, but I think by now you know well enough how I feel. So, yeah. Uh, so, really quickly, this, uh, this Sunday I'm gonna most likely be doing my new, finally in-depth video. I've done two so far. One was the um, the 10 Years of Uncharted video, which I thought was uh, was awesome. People really liked it. The other one I did was my Game of the Year video. Both of them, these type, you know, these really like scripted... Oh shit, stupid, stupid that I did that. I just revealed myself to this guy. Why did he not go into cover that quickly? Oh, he's gonna... There we go. I thought he was about to like revive himself. Damn it, I'm so screwed. Oh, I gotta use this Molotov, wait. Let's hope that he goes and revives him. Dude, this is exactly what I needed. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'm done. I'm very done. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I had no health left and this guy had armor, so I... He did have armor, right? I thought he did have armor. Maybe I... I uh... I, I really thought he had armor, so I, I, I knew I was screwed, but... I don't know, he didn't have armor then afterwards, but maybe he got shot already, I don't know. Okay, got it. Uh, but that was the perfect thing that I needed, that Molotov. That's exactly what I was hoping, so that somebody would revive him and that they would both get hit. I loved how the guy was, like, trying to revive him, and the guy that was actually down was trying to crawl away to be like, No, don't revive him. Because <laughs> he knew that they were gonna both get screwed. But, uh... But, yeah, anyway, um... Like I said, I'm going to be doing the next, uh, the next in that video on Sunday about Death Stranding. Uh, did I say that about Death Stranding? I don't know if I even said that yet, but now I did. Uh, it's going to be all about Death Stranding, basically. Uh, I recently did my top 10 most anticipated games. 
Death Stranding was at number one. Still is the game I look forward to the most right now. And some people are, you know, always asking me about that. Uh, like, how can you really put a game like that on number one when we don't even know what game it really is going to be, both in story and in gameplay? So uh, in that video, I want to kind of go over that, I guess, while at the same time kind of diving into the... Nice, we won the round. Kind of diving into the... Um, the, the traders that we've seen so far and like try and not necessarily analyze but just go over what the story seems to be so far you know what I mean explain that to the people that don't get it yet uh so it's gonna be a super cool video I was like up until 4 a.m a couple days ago to write that script it's like 4,000 freaking words it's insane the the 10 years of Uncharted video was 3,000 okay and that video took like 20 or 25 minutes, I think. So this one is probably going to be like just as long, if not even longer. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an awesome video though. So make sure you check that out. I really want those like high quality scripted videos to be a much bigger thing on the channel. Because I feel people really enjoy them, you know. Um, can I? Oh shit, let's cover. Did he realize I shot at him? Yeah, right. Oh shit, he's on to me. Do I have... See, I don't even buy armor when I can. I don't even pay attention. Did he get shot? Oh, he's down, right? Oh, now he's definitely completely dead. Is there somebody here? Oh, there we go. Nice. Fuck me. I'm being shot at. The guy is here. I don't know where he was though. He is okay. like in that building there or something. Is he there? Should I just do it? Screw it. Oh! Oh, I got him. Look at that. Nice. Get ready. Nice. Getting some good kills now. Um. Yeah. So basically, two more topics to talk about, real quick. Uh, number. Number one out of the two, I guess. So, Switch is the fastest selling console in the US. I didn't make a video about that. Uh, but it's doing super well, you know. I don't, I, I'm not going to go over the numbers or whatever. But it's the fastest selling console in the US now, officially. Which is pretty crazy. Like, the fastest selling console ever. Uh, the Switch has, like, obviously very much surprised me, right? Because um, if you look at... And please don't. But if you look at some of my older videos on the Switch, when it was just announced, I didn't have much confidence in it at all. Uh, and I still believe that that was kind of justified in the beginning to be very skeptical about it. But, you know, they proved me wrong and, and they, they already started proving me wrong really from the jump, right? Like the moment that the Switch came out and I bought one myself to play Zelda and stuff. Oh, fuck. Me. There we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know if there's somebody else here, but I would think so. Although it doesn't look like it. Okay, should I should I go into that window? I guess so. I guess I should. I might be able to like flank them now. Oh shit, behind me. Beautiful. Welp, I'm not... I don't want to go for this execution because I feel like there's some, there might be somebody else here, but whatever. I was too afraid of that at first. Whatever. Okay, um... Nah, so like I said... The there we go. <laughs> this, is, this is the one problem that these Let's Play type things create, is that basically you want to talk about stuff, but then you get into the gameplay. There's a guy right behind me. And they cut you off from actually being able to talk about it again. Okay, we still got a round coming up, so I'm not really gonna like rush it or whatever. Okay, he's there. I should have tagged him for this guy, but I think he saw him. Yeah, he did. Okay, let's quickly go chase him down, I guess. I'll go up here. Is he here? Where is he at? Did they really go like hide in that building all the way... Oh shit, oh shit. Don't leave it up to me. Because I know I will screw up like always. Oh fuck, he did. Great. He doesn't have a Molotov anymore though, right? Oh no. 
Oh my god, here we go. The first thing I do is step into the fire. <laughs> GG. Uh, hey, pots of water. Come on then. Shot, the, shot us off. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. GG. GG. He got that. He got that. Hey, I'm going 8-4. I'm not gonna complain. Nah, but like the Switch, the Switch proved me um, wrong almost from the jump. You know, like, because I actually, I really liked the console for what it was, right? I thought that the games looked fine. Sure, they look, of course, worse than on a PS4 or whatever, but, like, we knew that. It's it's portable, you know? It's a portable system as well, so... We knew that was gonna happen, that's fine. Um, but I was really skeptical about a lot of things, right? And But the Switch, once again, it proved me wrong kind of from the jump, because I thought that the system itself was really, like... Nicely designed hardware wise. It feels great. You know, it doesn't feel cheap in the slightest like the Wii U kind of did with that tablet and everything Felt really cheap. The switch doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels very sturdy and nice um, And of course, you know the games like yeah, it was pretty much only Zelda and that was it at that point um, But that's normal, you know with the launch of a system. Let's be honest when the PS4 just came out We were playing knack and kill zone. So <laughs> it's like oh shit Hey, how to get flanked 101. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know why I'm wasting my ammo like that, but whatever. I need some meds. Watch my six. Um I will say though, once again, about the sales, like it's it's cool that it's selling so far. Also the games that are coming out on it are good. There's even a lot of like hope right now with third party support that it's that that's like uh, you know, going well for them. Sure, no Call of Duty and like GTA yet and stuff, but um, you know, the Bethesda games are all coming out there, Wolfenstein and Doom, and the... Uh, you know, Doom runs kind of terribly, but still. It, at least it gets the third-party support, that's good. And the exclusives, of, score, of course, so far, people have really been enjoying them. Personally, me, not so much. Like, I'm... You know, I still didn't beat Zelda, actually. I played, like, 20 hours of it. And it's really cool and well-made, but, like, I don't know, I haven't been able to be bothered to really beat it. Uh, Mario, I did beat, but then again, I didn't really... I wasn't bothered there either to, like, uh, get all the moons and stuff, you know, really, like, trying 100% it. So, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's cool. It's not really for me, all the games and stuff, but it's cool. Oh, my God. Yo, show yourself, dude. There you go. Shit. What? Fuck. Damn, I thought that that last shot was gonna have him, but it didn't. Saw that? Like, I went in with one bullet. I thought, damn, I just need to hit him once, that's it. And then I hit him and he wasn't dead. I thought that was definitely, like, gonna be the final, uh, the final one I needed. No, but my biggest thing with the Nintendo Switch, and the people on Twitch might have heard me talk about this already. My biggest thing with the Switch right now is, like... The people that bought it, right, so far it's maybe sold like 10 million, I believe, or 10 to 12 million, something like that. But the Wii U sold 15 million, and my whole question is, you know, how many people that bought a Switch had a Wii U? Because, like, that's the thing, is it might be the fastest selling console and stuff, but at the same time... As long as it doesn't, like, heavily outsell the Wii U yet, we don't know who these people are that are buying the Switch. And they might very well be the exact same people, but it's just, once again, it's the die-hard Nintendo fanbase that just sees how cool the Switch is and that desperately wants to get it immediately, you know? So, I know that there are people that didn't buy a Wii U and that do have a Switch. Obviously, they are there, but I wonder how many actually are like that. I wonder how many people that own a Switch right now had a Wii U, because if it is many of them, if it is like 75, 80%, and that doesn't really tell me much yet for the Switch and like the future sales for it, you know what I mean? Because once again, then it's gonna get to like 15 to 20 million very fast, and then it's gonna die down because people actually might not really, like, you know, not many more people might care about Nintendo anymore, you know what I mean? Like once again, the kids are still not gonna buy this console because it doesn't have Call of Duty and it doesn't have like Battlefield and GTA and all the games that they care for, you know? Um, 
And kids are only really gonna buy one console, you know what I mean? Hell, most grown-up people only buy, like, one console. So, we'll see once again. I think it's cool. The, the signs so far are good for the Switch. But I'm not gonna be 100% like positive now and be like, oh yeah, it's gonna keep selling this much and it's gonna ultimately like sell as much as a PS4 or whatever. No way, I think, actually. Um, but even as, as much as an Xbox One, like, we'll see. We'll see if it gets to the, you know, 35, 40 million um, in the next couple years. We'll see. We'll see. So far, though, future is looking right for the Switch, so that's... Um, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And I, and I look forward to... Um, Mainly to Pokemon, actually. I do hope that with Pokemon, they're gonna kind of like... Because they announced there would be a Pokemon for the Switch, right? I grew up with Pokemon, but I haven't played it really in the last 10 years or so. But I did grow up with Pokemon Silver and Emerald. I played the shit out of those games. Oh, shit. Speaking about shit. Fuck me. <laughs> Welp. Welp. I keep getting... I keep getting Molotov and stuff. I should be... I should know better than that. I really should. I was gonna say, this guy really just gonna camp it the whole time? Come on, dude. Nah, but I personally look forward to Pokemon, like I said. Uh, anything else? I don't really know. I, I kinda hope uh, that they make a 2D Mario game again. Which maybe sounds a little stupid, I'm once again asking for a Mario game, but like... Odyssey wasn't, wasn't what I wanted out of Mario. Um, I felt like Odyssey was more a collectible... Kind of gathering game, rather than a skilled platforming game, you know what I mean? That's my one issue that I had with uh, with Mario Odyssey. What I didn't like about it, I guess. So... I hope that they make some type of 2D Mario game more akin to like the, you know, the old school stuff like uh, Super Mario World, which I loved and, and everything. So, uh, yeah, that's basically, you know, what I want um, moving forward in the future. I want the 2D Mario game, I want that Pokemon game, which hopefully will... Um, you know, proved to be maybe something a little, like, a little bit more advanced from the Pokemons on the on the handhelds. I hope it's not this, like, typical, once again, top-down Pokemon type game. It would be awesome if they made, like, an actual open-world Pokemon game or something like that. Like, normally I don't ask for many open-world games, you know, but with Pokemon, I definitely, um, I definitely would like to see that. But yeah, basically, uh, we've been going for, like, I think half an hour already or something, so I'm just gonna uh, leave it here. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of series. Once again, it's a bit more chill and laid back. Just gonna go, you know, just going over some topics and playing games at the same time. Um, but at least the games I played went pretty well, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, let's see. All that there's really left for me to say is, of course, um, make sure you go and support me on Patreon if you can. Uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, I need your support. If you enjoy everything I do right now on, uh, on YouTube and on Twitch, where I live stream daily, by the way, as well, tune in on Twitch every day, because it's pretty much this, except then with the chat next to it, and, you know, doing everything live, so that's cool as well. But uh, uh, if you enjoy all my stuff, make sure you check me out on patreon.com slash robingaming. Support me there, whether it's for 10, for 5, or just for a single dollar, it really doesn't matter. Um, any bit helps, especially with, you know, once again, people always talk to me about, for example, advertisements and stuff, like, oh yeah, I, Robin, I can't support you on Patreon, but I'll, I'll make sure to, you know, watch your ads and stuff. It's, honestly, it's kind of just, I'm still, I'm still going on here, but honestly, like, watching ads is not really that much of a beneficial thing to me, because for every ad that you watch, I maybe get, like, 0.2 cents, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, that doesn't really support me. You can watch a full month of ads and uh, waste a lot of time and give me maybe a couple of cents that way, but you could have also supported me for just a dollar per month and then put that ad blocker on. Just do that because seriously, uh, you know, like it really doesn't matter all that much. But if you enjoy everything I do, uh, look into maybe supporting me on Patreon if you uh, want to do that. Would be awesome to see. You get a lot of cool rewards as well. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out. And then for now, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this new type of series. Um, let me know some things you would like to, me to maybe talk about next time. Let me know if you've got an idea for the title of this type of series. Uh, and then next week, I'll be back. Hopefully do the same thing if you enjoyed this one. Uh, for another game like Uncharted 4, Rainbow Six Siege, Call of Duty, we'll see. Uh, it's been fun, people. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, buddy.